We're calling this meeting to order actually at 527 today because we have just come uh, uh, present. We have Roxy Parent, Russ French, Laurie Lucy, our clerk, and myself, Lee Whitcomb. We have just come out of about, oh, almost an hour long session um, with what used to be the Patriot Properties Valuation System and is now AP5 is called and uh, asking them a number of questions that we've had with regard to valuation within different programs. So not making any decisions yet, but still asking lots of questions, but it ended up taking a bit longer than we uh, anticipated because they had very complete answers. Yeah. So let's go back to our uh, agenda. First off, we have the usual. Approval of the minutes of uh, the prior meeting. Nope, sorry, that's that's the agenda. That's tonight. There we go. There is the minutes of the prior meeting. Um, have I a motion? Goku has read. Right. Okay. Aye. And, and no further discussion? Questions? Nope. Mm -hmm. nope. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Approved I'm as read. Now, our next. We need an initial that. Oh, uh, well, initial one, yes. And here. Uh, one initial that, Russ, and hand it around. Okay. March 1. New mail and invoices. Thank you. Here we go. We have our quarterly invoice from CAI Technologies for one quarter of our annual maintenance map maintenance work. Uh, four seventy five per quarter. This is our third quarter's worth. Well, this is a regular periodic bill now. Should I, has anyone joined us? Should I say welcome to whomever? This is ah okay. Hi Kate. <laughs> All right. Um, so we have that one plus we have a bill left over from we only just received it. I want to make that quite clear. Roy Bishop sent us a bill from finishing up the fiscal twenty three work, and we had allowed for it. It's in the um, Evaluations is separate from our regular budget. It was $2,500. We had approved it last year, and he uh, had not sent us a bill for it at that time. And so um, we. Does that cover all the communications, everything he does? Yes. Okay. Yes, it did. Yeah. He lists it here. Okay. Yeah. So I would like to um, have that one there. Plus, we have his agreement. If he does just the two utilities this year, they would be at five hundred dollars per company, and that's two the two telecommunications communications utilities. Uh, it's not expected that we would need. If we don't have a change on the large array solar because that's under um, a previously agreed payment plan, pilot payment plan, and the hydro uh, probably does not need to be changed at all this year. So it would be expected that we would need just this, unless we find that we're seeing a wide variety of values when we need to determine a 
uh, an overall factor if there is to be one this year and what it would be, in which case we might call them up for half a day, but that could be billed separately. So this is an agreement that he has brought to us, uh, contracting for each of the two telephone communications utilities. I mean, so, sorry, electrical utilities, which is NSTAR Eversource and Western Mass. So for a total of $1,000. And I would move to accept this and to pay the two bills as existing. Do I have a second? I'll second it. Any discussion, questions? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Um, if you'd like to initial those up there, <laughs> just that I have to sign the front of it. You can get in and if you initial it, that's good. You just want to see initials up here. Yep. Yes. And this is the 22nd. Voting. 3 22 23 and you can each sign that also i'm going to just uh, make a photocopy of that when we're done There we go. Okay, that takes care of that. Recent sales, new listings, and whoops, oh, yeah, that's the blank. Yep. And new permits. We have the one recent sale of Edward's house, Edward Boy Jack. His two parcels together sold for $382.5. On the ninth, um, we have the combined assessment 335.3, which ends up being not too bad. Yep, yeah, we'll be sending out, um, that one doesn't go on the LA-13 in our comparisons because it's a multi-parcel sale, and those aren't included in the state uh, review of sales. That's they, a multi-parcel? Yes, he has two parcels there. The bond oh, is on one, basically, oh, was it? and the house is on the other. Okay. Yeah, his grandparents bought them at two separate times. Oh. Yeah. Um, there are no new listings, and... As of today, everything except the land on Graves Road is mm -hmm. under contract. Yeah, yeah. Stone houses. Yes, yeah. stone houses as well. Yes, and the ones up by. Yep, and the St. Peter's houses. Oh, that yes, yeah. yes. So that will be interesting. I mean, this is often the quietest time of the year with regard to listings and sales. So April first tends to be, if the weather clears up a little bit, April first tends to be when the market opens up a lot. We'll see what happens. We did have one other transfer of the land on Graves Road from John Barlow to Mike and Vicky. And, um, oh, this is just a release deed from them to their trust, from another couple to their trust. So no actual, you know, the only one that actually was a sale was Zajac on Upper Baptist Hill Road. Yep. And then we have some new permits. I don't think there's a new house among them, darn it all. <laughs> yeah, new windows, generator. Probably solar. <laughs> yeah, probably a solar. No, oh, a bridge repair. Someone who has a bridge getting access into their property. Yep, and roofing work. Mm -hmm. Anything that is adding any new value will put on the list to be seen. Yeah. yeah.
Small purple alarm system. Hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Okay, visits and values, new growth and any other data changes. Well, we've had no recent visits. Um, value changes were simply, we finished up calculating the ones that we had already seen. And I believe we voted at our work session to accept them. No, I no we did we, not, we, we decided to hold here. it. Right, so. okay, I'll get them out in a minute. Um, well, let's go on to these others. We have a motor vehicle excise warrant, warrant number two for this year is out. So Jan has asked for the commitment for that, or the warrant, I should say. And a fair number of maintenance, mostly farm vehicles. Mm -hmm. Yeah, We have one standard abatement here, uh, and then the others are all farm vehicles on a separate page, and this is correctly calculated, and it is for 2022. <laughs> Thank you. Again, a reminder for anyone who's traded, sold, junked a car, given it to a family member, had it totaled in an accident, whatever, you have up to three years from the date that a bill was issued in which to get it abated. So um, the fact that this was in 22 is not, does not obviate it. Uh, keep that in mind, should you have a circumstance like that come up. You have that plate receipt. Right, you have to have that plate receipt, generally speaking, or something else to prove that the registration was canceled. What was the bottom? Oh, Those are voids. Yeah. Farm vehicles that are used exclusively for farm business are abated in full by the law. So all of these are full abatements, and then we do have actually several here in a second little group that are solar traded, totaled, or disabled veteran. Yep. So. No, oh, and it's two separate groups. Yep. Make it nice and easy to. So we're just doing it as a group. I think so, yes, because these are all as is. I'm sure I, I should have said uh, move to grant these farm vehicles mm -hmm. as a group, uh, move to vote to, to approve the 22. Okay. Aye. Aye. Okay. Aye. <laughs> Aye. We don't have to go and yeah. tear it up. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. And to accept all of these farm vehicles as a group, second? Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. okay. He's yeah. nodding.
I can tell my signature is going to be unreadable before too long. <laughs> Did you ever do a motion to approve the warrant? You signed it. Oh, right. I tend to think of that as boilerplate. Okay, bad another back. It's like backtrack. We have a warrant to issue the second group of motor vehicle billings, uh, excise billings for 2023 in the amount of 29000 Blah, 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 blah. And something else. Yes. Have I a motion to approve? Second. Second, yes. Yeah, you make a motion. I'll, I'll second. second. Good. All in favor. Aye. 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 It's it's essentially a process that we is somewhat automatic, but you're right. It should be carried through correctly. Mm -hmm. Just did a signature that looked, looked a lot like Norman E. French hmm. <laughs> back in the day. Hmm. You know, you can get signature stamps with three, all three signatures on it. Or even, indivi or even individual that. signature stamps where you could just stamp, stamp, stamp instead of right, right, right. If we were to go in any direction that way, I guess I'd want this individual. Keep them locked up between times. Can I put my own? <laughs> if you had one here. He want. has one at his office. I mean, yeah. You have one that says Rox is cool. <laughs> I, <got one> <laughs> no, I know. <laughs> no, Roxy's studio. It won't look like that. As I say, they don't have to actually read the room. Oh, Ross. It's just a bad hold. Or... Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. I hope that's all it is. Yeah. Oh, well, that's that batch. You got all four pages of the certificates. Oh. I think so. And this one, I think so. Don't make me call you anymore. I don't see certificates for this last grouping of four. No, they were there. Which means you may have already signed them. Because already when you were going them. through them, you might have pulled them all and put them together. Who was the last? Uh, Kim, Craig and Kimberly Davis. About Lawton. Oh, good. We did. Because Tom you, you pulled them all and put them in the set. Davis. Yep, yep, yep. Yep. So they're all signed. Move to. Oh, no, I, I asked for a motion. Oh. With regard to the disabled veteran, two totals, and a soldier traded. Good. Motion to grant? Oh. Good. You Sorry. want me to make a motion? Sure. Yes, yeah, a motion to grant them. Okay. Second? All Aye. in favor? All right. Aye. All right. Now we're catching up.
you know, at the last minute here. A little... Well, I'm afraid my head is still off in happy, happy Patriot land. They were making it sound so... They made it sound good. They, they sure did. Sound uh, and I'm reminding myself that they are definitely salesmen. <clears throat> yep. And that the company's been sold three times since you started, Tyler. Twice. Yep, and, and that's that, enough. And now it's a huge conglomerate. Yeah. So I want to find out more about what the towns are experiencing. I would talk to a town who had it when it was a smaller company. Yeah, me too. And see what the difference is between yeah. then and now and customer yeah. service. Yeah, Sunderland is one of them, and I'm going to do that, yes. And if it's their service Hi, or anything has changed. So. Welcome back. Uh, right, and how is the backup? Yeah. How are they responsible? Are they to Massachusetts needs? Yeah. There we go. Okay. That takes care of numbers four and five. Uh, Bateman and exemption applications. We need to finish that one. And this one. Um, these two are still waiting for information, but I did call the people and they said they would get it. The qualifying information for income qualifying on those two. Yep. And we had further information from the historical society that we had asked for. That's not an abatement or exemption. No, no, it's else. it's a, a exemption of property. You're bouncing. Well, you don't have exemption. Because you didn't ask for it. Okay, I'll hold on. Put it under other items. Thank you. Okay. We've received another form of list, which is pure formality um, because it's from our large solar array owner, the owners of the equipment. And of course, uh, a form two doesn't really apply because we already have an agreement with them that goes on for the entire period of that lease. So receiving this is um, courteous. But, just documentation. Yeah, just documentation, right. Mm -hmm. And now back to abatements and exemptions. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Um, we have been to see the Rayfield property on River Street, and we toured the outside and the basement. And um, the owner's son went over with us what he felt were the very, what were considerations that we should keep in mind in valuing the property. We were not invited into, we refused entry to the upstairs. Um, so we could not see the general living area at all. But we did walk around the entire thing, front, back and everything. He reminded us that no insulation has ever been added to the house, that he feels it has an R4 value now. The foundation is completely below ground, being the, I believe the floor is what he meant. The basement floor yeah. uh, because yeah. of <clears throat> recent grading uh, over the years of the street bringing the street level up there's still pitch from the door down to the street but there is still pitch there yes the water runs away from the building so yes uh, but there are water issues in the basement was what he had said the question with this one becomes um as Roxy and I were talking about the other day at our, our work session, uh, how much is the value of the property? Is, is the value reduced from what we have its assessed value? And if so, by how much? Based on this information and what we saw. It's currently valued at 184.4. His opinion of, or their opinion of value the owner's opinion is 100,000. Um, you don't have the property card for that, do you? Because I was I do, yes. I was wondering what it was. Uh, 
graded at in the condition. Oh, okay, yep, I don't need that but we'll get it again. Yep, absolutely. Well, did you look at that? I don't think you did. Were you? When you when were you talking about that? Yeah. Well, I mean, I went on the but I right, but we yeah. I haven't no. Hmm. Okay. Have you have you got a comp for that? Not in our not in our sales. How much did um the one across from Baker's go for? Um, yeah. Oh, the old An Angels. Angels. Or oh, oh Rick, uh, Angels. <clears throat> what have we got that valued for? Rated at sixty four good. It's well, the house, the building is valued at one seventeen. Yes, the house structure is one seventeen. Higgins is valued at 171.7, of which the house is 104.3. Mm -hmm. And that would be a reasonable comp for that one. Well, I would think so. It would be certainly the same, very close angels. physically. Oh, okay. Old house right across from Carol Angels. Papers. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, well, I haven't looked at, I mean, I'd have a hard time because I haven't looked at that one at all. So, well, I mean, I was just going by to see what we had it in. Uh -huh. I haven't been in it either. Mm. But it's the one family. Mm -hmm. It's one in plus stories. It's not a full two story, but as far as age, Probably. appearance of condition. The only thing that I saw the back kitchen section, you know, up there was pretty bad. And <laughs> the exterior was what we saw. Yeah, the exterior. And it only had tar paper in the back. And it had like a really bad metal roof, like the old. It was the old corrugated. The old corrugated metal roof on yep. it, and it was the whole silex section was rotted. <laughs> That's that was the worst part I saw. I know. I, I would think that would be as urgent a problem as anything else, quite truthfully. Um, and then the front porch was pretty bad. The front porch was. Angling downward at a bit more than it should have been, perhaps. <laughs> but is that a factor of it was originally built with a good slant to it, or that the, know, it was falling is apart. that wall because dropping of, because of the because of the foundation questions? Well, no, because of that. Uh, well, the wisteria. wisteria. <laughs> <laughs> Very yes, magnificent old wisteria. Yeah, beautiful, but it does a damage. Yeah. We had it listed in average condition. We put a question mark beside that. And the building alone. In our discussion. What, what you say, 117. 117. Yeah. 117.6 on the building. I would say fair. Uh, we we roughed, we did a couple of what ifs. Mm -hmm. Fair brought it down to 62,000 plus. Uh, fair to average. No, that was poor. Yeah, I don't think fair brought it down that much. Did it? No, fair brought it. Um, Wasn't it down to 80? I could be wrong. I'm not going to try and remember and make a mistake. Yeah. yeah. Let's, let's just look at this little chart that we were going to see for the effective year. Say on 
What it's year? 1840, didn't it? Yeah. Just what there. year was that built, Lee? Yeah, 1840. We had effective 1970 on it. And it's in... Figuring that's the average last time that the kitchen and so forth would have had a lot of work on already. Uh, so 1840 would be down here. Yeah, it, the effective year for an average is 1970. And that's what we have. So if it's fair, it would be down to 1960. Mm -hmm. Poor took it down to 1950. I remember that. Yeah. Um, the too bad you couldn't divide it because I think that back section was worse and the rest was probably fair. Well, if we compare it to, to the other one, you know, I would, fair would be all right. I don't, I wouldn't go down to poor mm -hmm. at all. Mm -hmm. Okay, if we took it down to fair. Mm -hmm. There and 1960. Yes. Okay. No. Oh, yes. There is 1960. Yes. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Then the house comes from 117 down to 92,000. Well, that sounds probably good. We didn't see the inside, so you know you, you can't say Tax anything. Said a production of thirty-five thousand, based on just on what we did see. I would be very cautious about going any lower without seeing the entire structure, the inside as well as the outside. I would even question whether we should go there, go down the fair without seeing all of it. I mean, I. Of course, we. We don't have a fair to average. No. Oh, well, wait a minute. There is a below average. Let me see what that does for us. We've got, I didn't think we had it in as average now. Then we have a good. Doesn't well, change no, that the value. It was any. as average. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, it doesn't change the value at all. So it stays at 92, which is another one of our discrepancies with this program. Um, oh, that's what we didn't add. Man, we, we write in questions <laughs> about, you know, more grades in there. Yep. Yep. Um, okay. He said he had new footings under the front of the house, but that the bottom of the siding is down four inches into the dirt, that the construction overall of the house is stacked two by fours. That was interesting. I never heard of that, but that's cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so standing he, seam roofing of the he, house. Because he's saying it's only two by fours, so he can't get the R value up. For the no, incident. but that's what they contribute as opposed to modern cell insulation or even hard rigid foam or anything like that. Fiberglass being higher R values for the space involved. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah. No, you couldn't you couldn't put anything else in with it really unless that's you well, you gotta build out inside. You'd have to build out, yeah, frame out inside. Right. So that's what he rooms. was kind of saying is the problem. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We said the still sills in the northeast corner were bad. Mm. Uh, there's vinyl siding on the house, but clabbers on the back wing. Um, uh, basement concrete floor, so <laughs> probably some lead paint on the second floor, fine flooring and carpet throughout. The, um, <laughs> my notes on that tree, <laughs> that marvelous tree out in front, a cucumber magnolia, by the way. Uh, the interior of the basement, right, plus full exterior effects of the, the owner's son was our viewing. Mm -hmm. The electrical was upgraded, had been upgraded. There's no more knob and tube use. 
There are two kitchens, two baths, no heat in the attic. Uh, and it is unfinished attic. There's electric heat on the second floor. Right. So do we have a proposal or a motion? There's no way to get it in between the two. Apparently not. I I did I put it set it as below average, which would seem to be fair to average, but it did not change the value. Which is a frustration that we've had with Tyler a little bit. My my feeling is fair because that back section is so bad. Okay. But that's what do you think? That's dropping it. What seventeen and, and eight, right? Yes, yeah. It. 25. 25 to 26,000. Mm -hmm. And add the land back in. 92 plus 66 is going to be about 170,000 altogether. Oh, no, about 160,000. Yeah. Down from 184 for. Well, it certainly would bring that on the market right now. I could. Looking at it. You would what? I said it certainly would bring 160 or whatever. Yeah, 160. On the on the open market right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Would you care to make a motion? Let me change it to. Well, what's your feeling on it? You didn't say your. I'm comfortable with that. With taking it down to fair or to. 92,000 for the structure. Uh, but certainly no further without a full interior inspection. Mm -hmm. But we cannot, we, we have to be invited in. And that's fine and good. But if one does apply for abatement, and does not allow the assessors in, they have no means to carry it forward to appellate tax board. And that's state law. That has nothing to do with the town. But at any rate, uh, well, do we make a motion? Let's decide it. Let's decide it. Okay, we can motion that it gets moved to fair. The condition, okay, to, the condition. Right, to $92,000 for the house. Yeah. Okay, we have a motion. Have I a second? I'll second. Okay. Any further discussion or questions? All in favor? Aye. Aye. So they can't apply for another abatement because they didn't let us in. They can, correct? they can ask us to revisit the question. Within, within 90 days, they can ask us to revisit it. The question, the abatement application. And at that point, uh, I would certainly urge them to invite us in, inside. I don't see that we could do anything further on it if we have not seen the interior. Mm. Or, no. hmm. So, okay, so 92 plus 66, 68, 68. 158, 8. I mean, when they said they wanted it lowered to 100, was that the overall value or was that the house value that they asked for? It's, it sounded like the overall. It did sound like the overall. That's that's what that's, I thought it sounded like. That, so we didn't lower the overall. Oh, right. No. So no. I think um, that's fair. Okay, adjusted value is going to be one fifty eight eight. But that would be lowering it like eighty thousand. Mm. Right. Yeah. Okay. Granted. And we will sign it tonight and 
have the city fill out next time. Okay. Or actually, probably before then. See how we've already voted it. Whenever Laura's had a chance to make it out, we can just come in and sign it. Okay. Do you have the... Is he aware that this was probably going to be processed after the second mailing was done? No, because I didn't know when the second mailing was done. I didn't think it was going to be this early. I thought she I was hoping to get them out by the 20th, but well, which leads us into our next abatement application. The 20th is already passed. <laughs> I know, that's right. <laughs> that's right, yeah, I'm thinking 15th. Oh, so another bill went out. So yes, <laughs> people got their bills. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. <laughs> but that's all right. She'll do a, a, a check to him as a refund to the Archer Gwen. She will when she oh, sees this we'll abatement. Do this as an abatement, and then she'll right. Do it. She has said she will send a check rather than adjusting that second okay. bill. Once the bill is paid. Yeah. Which you should probably do a cover letter explaining that. Yeah, I can do that tomorrow. Different. So I can include it with his approval certificate, her approval certificate. Yes. Yeah. Otherwise. There'll be phone calls made and yeah, no, no, and might as well and... laid out clear. Yeah, yeah. and you are going to send new property cards with the new. Um... Yeah, then once she gives me the as billed and the adjusted. Okay, good. Yeah, our last actual abatement application was Ed Matus's for his land on Warren Brook Road, and we had held off until we talked to the conservation commission, and uh, they got out their file on it, which did not restrict building 200 feet from the, within 200 feet from the brook. And uh, we still haven't been able to get up there as it happens when the ground was cleared. Darn it, we missed that few days in February, but. Well, I mean, I think if the ConCom says it, build them all, who are we to say that? It they is? didn't see any other, circumstance on the property that for their determination will make it not buildable. Mm -hmm. That's what they said. And so um, Yeah, it's property and land schedule to send out. So do I, we have a motion. I move to deny. I second. Okay. Any further discussion or questions? No. All in favor of denying this application? Aye. 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 Okay. All right. Um, you need to put a reason on there. I mean, mm -mm. Don't have to, no. Okay. I can. You can I do can. a cover letter. Yeah. The certificate's pretty. Yeah. I'll I'll put something in a in a brief cover letter um stating that we have reviewed. Then we contacted the conservation commission and yep, saw their ruling. We have a copy of it. Yeah, that would just make it. Okay, next item up is the conflict of interest topic. Mm -hmm. There is no news. And on Monday, I send an inquiry um, both to the person with whom I've been talking at the Ethics Commission and also to our town council asking if they would be able to send us any response before today's meeting, tonight's meeting. Mm -hmm. Haven't heard from either one. Mm -hmm. So we'll just... Well, because they have um, what I submitted from the ethics committee. Yes. Did you give them the town council that? Yes. Okay, just ask yep. them. Sent both, yep. 
So um, we're just waiting on those. So nothing further there. Well, except, I guess I, I have a question. Rory um, is going to do it for nothing. Mm -hmm. He will not charge the town for that uh -huh. um, if we do that. Um, because I, I guess I had a question because I put a post on next door and I had a comment in there about you refusing to um, have our, let me assess it, your homes. Mm -hmm. um, and in the town selectman meeting, the unit says it wasn't you that refused it, it was your families. So I just wanna make clear on that. Who's refusing? <laughs> I reserve, we reserve the right to invite whom we choose into our homes. Uh, in my case, my family's and mine. Mm -hmm. uh, and they feel quite strongly about it. Okay, but so it's, not just your families, because the only kind of put it, it wasn't you, it was your families only. So I just want to make it clear. Well, I mean, it's, it's you I'm, know, it's a joint, the house is a joint ownership, so. I know, but right, you yeah. are assessors. We, we are our assessors. Mm -hmm. And if it goes to the state and ethics as assessors, you're refusing to have um, to do it as assessors groups doing each other's homes and you want an appraisal. I just want to make it clear because she kind of made it sounded like it wasn't you that were refusing. It was your family only. So based on what you were talking about and saying to us last summer, I want to make sure that it is an absolutely unbiased, independent and accurate appraisal that's done. And I feel that hiring an outside contractor who has said that he will do it at no charge to the town, because we do give him a fair amount of business, is the best way to go. And so personally, I'm holding out to find out what decision is made by town council and so forth mm -hmm. before I give up on that. Um, and how did you present it to the ethics? committee as to what we're asking. I said exactly the same thing that because of things that were said last summer, my family and I, I don't know if I said an I or not, uh, prefer to not have you as an individual come to the house. And therefore we looked at other ways to have the work done properly mm -hmm. and still be um, getting a fair value within the confines of that consideration. Okay, because I just want to clear you do a fair value on yours. I'm not saying that. Also I'm not saying I, that. I just want it clear as to what our our discussion is and how it went about. And I was just reading property cards and questioning how those figures came about on the property cards. Yes. Not that I accused you, anybody it of doing anything. It certainly came out as an accusation, Roxy, and you repeated it. And when we explained it, you said, well, I can believe that. And that was taken very badly. Well, and it wasn't, there was no apology until you, there was a very, very quiet, well, I'm sorry, in about January. And if you have questions like that about anything, you should ask the question and get the answers first before any one of us should, any one of us should on any matter, should ask the questions and get the information first before bringing forward a very controversial opinion. Well, we're not supposed to discuss that unless it's an open meeting about our properties. And it, so we're not supposed to discuss that between us, between us without um right being so so when that think? was an open meeting and you were bringing forth all sorts of presumptions that were not based on anything 
No, I was reading your property card. Which you could have asked questions about the property cards and about the properties. I did. I says, how does a property go down from 90% well, good to 80? That's what I asked. We discussed this. And when I showed you the, her property card, please, you looked at it. And your answer was, I guess it's time for a site visit. And it didn't say anybody had been on it, on reviewing it, or had asked questions on your property card. And there was another building on there. So I questioned it. I haven't built up a building in 10 years. And it hadn't been listed until last year. Yeah, and I questioned it. Oh, the foundation. Oh, for sakes, it was listed. It was considered part of the garage. At any rate, I don't we know, just we was went no... over this. I know. So I'm saying, let's wait as, till we hear. As an assessor, I was questioning it. And I think okay. that's what assessors are supposed to do is question especially them. new assessors that's how you learn and how we find out what and i just um we need to teach i'm assuming you trust lee and i'm assuming you trust russ so i'm not going in there doing it by myself no you aren't so and... it's like we have to agree on who's ever property and you have to agree on mine so i still have a find it odd that you won't do that why all these comments about what is lee hiding I didn't make the comment. <laughs> I didn't say that. Not hide the darn thing. Well, then all we need a whole to, lot of people in town who had to know. So all I'm saying is we just need to go and verify the information. That seems let's to me. see what the answer is first about a town's ability to have an independent third party do it. Okay, I just have one other question on that. Okay. So if we decide to take use an appraisal mm -hmm. how does that go into into the computer programming as the assessment we still need to go take pictures we need to go measurements make sure uh put in the grade and all that he does all that he does that he does the grade and all that yes yeah. that's that's yeah he would do a complete inspection and enter the data as he sees. In, okay. We're, we'd be hiring his best judgment and decades of experience. Okay. And his knowledge of Conway. I mean, that's what he does right now for my other buildings. Okay. <laughs> um, so if, if we're going to do that for our homes, this is just questioning. Are you going to accept that for other people's homes? Well, let's see, he's not an appraiser, he's an assessor. He's an assessor. He, well, yes, he's an appraisal consultant. Right. But, but he's for mass just, appraisal. Right. Not, not individual appraisal. Thank you. What I was trying to say is right. when people hire an appraiser, they're hiring someone who does individual appraisals for bank loans, for selling. Yes. And it's a, diff, it's a right. different type of appraising. He does it as an assessor, just like you guys do it. Right. So, so you're hiring an assessor, not appraiser. Is that what I'm saying? He hearing? is a man who is expert at market adjusted cost of, of valuation. What mass appraisal so, is, is the market adjusted cost approach to value. We figure out what a property would cost new. We take a certain depreciation off it. Then, as properties are sold, they're compared. The, Selling prices compared to the valuation. That's where we get the market adjustment. If we see that we are valuing at 88% across, you know, overall, instead of close to 100, <laughs> then it's advisable for us to boost everything 8% across the board mm -hmm. in order to get us up closer. To market value. And he's the one that recommended that. I yes. understand. Year. This, is I his, this is his expertise. Yes. Yeah. And so, yes, he takes so, care of all that. So he's not an actual appraiser. He doesn't do independent appraisals for banks. He's, he's been in this reign of appraisal for many, appraisal. many, many, many years. Okay. Because... I was assuming you're asking to have an appraisal done, and I just want to make it clear. Well, yeah, it's, it's what 
is no, there's a difference between a bank type appraisal. Yes, and there's a different, definitely a difference between right. appraisal and an assessment. That's right. And so most people it was do not tend to clear. use the terms interchangeably, but they aren't. They aren't the same. No, they aren't. So I think that's you were that saying you wanted to have an appraisal done. And I just want to make it clear what I'd like to have an independent authority so, come in and do ours <laughs> and value our properties. Valuation. How's that? Evaluation. An independent assessment for a man who does assessment, mass assessments for multiple towns. Yep. Right. And he does ours for all the commercial. Yes, buildings. he does all of his commercial and industrial buildings. Okay. Yeah. So then what if somebody in town just says, I don't want you to assess my house? Are we going to pay to or have him come and assess theirs? That's opening up a, a a door that could be a problem. If people say, well, we people all the time well, refuse you gotta, to allow us in. And so some that have refused mean, to allow us on the property. And we simply have to do the best we can. Well, it could still open up a big problem having... Well, that, that's no different than having a company do right. the whole town, like right. Greenfield. They hire a company. True. Yes. So it would be no different. I mean, we could hire a company to do the whole town. True, also. you could. One of the We're towns true. I was talking about. But I'm with... talking about someone that doesn't want us to assess their home, and do they want the town to pay for their, an appraiser to come in? That's what you're asking here to do. I'm, no, the town's not the town. In this case, there is no charge to the town. Well, that's because he's doing it, but because he are, yeah, because he agreed to that. That's what I'm hearing from you. I don't know that. Yes, but I I'm just saying, if I'm asking, if someone else in town does refuses and says we need to do a private assessment outsider. Are we going to do that? Are we going to pay? Because he's doing it this time, but I'm just saying this. Not, not as an individual. No, I would say no. Well, we're doing it for you, though. We're doing it for the three of us. We're not doing it for just me. No, but we're doing it. In, and I'm just saying it could be opening up the doors where people could say, well, if you're, it's okay to, for you, why can't you do it for us? Just, oh, then we just give then we just give up and hire an outside company to come in and do them all. And they'll be dealing with people whom they've never seen before, they'll never see again. They don't get to talk with them. Uh the people the but it's not statewide. I'm not talking no. statewide. Nor am I. I'm talking about when a town has to individual. hire an outside group to come in and do the listings and the you know, so on and so forth. Uh in some places, it's been college kids in the summer, and you don't want that. That's as, as far as from professional as you can get. Um, well, they give them checklist. And I know. And then you and have, they don't you have not houses. accepted um, appraisals in the past. We have some, a few. Yes, we have. If they, for example, if a if an appraisal is brought in, and all the comps are not in Conway. We have a real problem with that because we are restricted to looking at properties in Conway for our market analyses. Mm -hmm. That's one big one. If the comps are different types of properties, it's been tough lately for appraisers to get good comps. Or uh, before a couple of years ago, when the sales were still pretty thin on the on the ground, to find another log house that sold in Conway. Well, you don't find many in a given year, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. And they're supposed to use another log house in Conway. Mm -hmm. So they've had to look further. But those aren't comps in Conway that fall into our jurisdiction and therefore fall under the well, the same thing of we mass have appraisal. To do, the same thing we have to do in town to figure out values. If nothing sold comparably. We do, yes. So it's, it's the same extent. thing. Yes. That's not any different than what ha we have to do, too. We have rules and regulations. We follow them. In this case, we're doing what is completely according to one a very knowledgeable source, uh, meaning that person. And that could also be considered. That, that could also he could also be considered a conflict because he does other work for the 
this department and then to go works for you quite extensively and then to not go for me personally well for he's us never done, oh i was gonna say he's never done anything for me not personally, personally but okay, for yeah. this office oh he'll say fine if you don't i just won't come to conway anymore bye good luck i'm just saying that it could be considered a conflict of interest to hire him let's see what town council Okay. And the commission said. I mean, I could say that right now. Hey, about what? There being a conflict. What? What's a conflict? Because he's doing mine right now already. Mm -hmm. Your commercial buildings. All my commercial buildings. Yeah. Oh. Okay. So. So I don't have a problem with that. Well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> But it Let's still could be considered on. a problem. Let's hold this until we time, until such time as we have an answer to talk about. Okay. Okay. But I would like to know what you sent in. Can you give me a copy of what you sent in? Yes, I've entered it into public record. I'll give you a copy before you leave tonight. Is it in oh, here? I appreciate that. I'll get your copy. Okay. Yep, it was entered into public record, so it's available to anyone. Of what you sent? Yes. Okay. Yep. Was, it, was it from the board or from? It's my letter inquiring to, to the Ethics Commission. From you personally? From me personally. Not from the board? Not from the board. Oh, okay. From me personally. Okay. The board, as you know, has not done a letter to the Ethics Commission or anybody else. I didn't think so. You would have been included in it. Okay. Of course. I saw, I mean, that's all I'm asking what was sent to him and asking because I. Are didn't... you inferring that you were going behind your back? No, I'm oh, just good. asking. <laughs> okay. All right. Other business. In the category of um, exempt owned properties. We have one here in town, Wildside, which is remiss in sending in their three ABC form for the year. Did not reply the last two or three years at all. <laughs> and so this year we sent it out and we haven't been able to get it to them. Did it come back in the mail, Lori? No. Not that we know of. No, did okay, not. we did not get a response on time. And so I was going to call and encourage um, a couple of weeks ago that they get it filled out and get back to us. But I decided to hold off because that would mean an extended filing date. The filing date was March 1st. If it was not returned to us by mail, must we assume that it was received by someone and therefore has been uh, not returned by choice or by neglect? As it has for the past three years. Oh. As it has for the past three years. So the Question is, do we want to offer an extended period of um, application, of filing? And I would take this form over personally and hand deliver it, or should we not? What's did, your thought? Did you say they haven't done it for three years? Yes. I say we not. Mm -hmm. I say no. Okay. Um, do I have a motion to, to, to not to not offer an extended period of filing or accept anything I mean, that, that just we just a little discussion first. Okay, good. We've we've never done this for anyone before that I know of. Have we? Have we Usually, I try to call them around the last week of February and say, "Listen, we haven't got your form yet. It's due March first. Please get it into us." And usually they show up. 
Um, that hasn't been the case here. For three years. Yeah. And you've called them? Try, I tr couldn't get through, and I've tried emailing every email I knew, and they all come back. Every year, though. As, Did you try anything registered so that they, you know they received something? No, they don't get sent out registered. And until I know. March, we had no idea that it hadn't been, that it wasn't going to be, record, you know, returned on time. Not a board member, but just from the business standpoint of all the years that I was doing that, she has ignored the applications for years. Mm -hmm. You have talked to her about it. Yes. In in person, yes, on the phone, by mail, and firmly, and right. I don't. It's already past the deadline again mm -hmm. by three weeks. I don't see where we should be. You should be extending more money and more time chasing someone well, down to do them a favor, especially when the property is possibly under favor. contract. So no way. Mm -hmm. I am. I am absolutely ag agreeing with your. Judgments, but mm -hmm. I did want to bring it before the board mm -hmm. rather than making a unilateral uh, decision on this. My well, motion to deny. Okay, you know, that we do not. Well, not it, deny it. That, that we do not yeah. resend with an extended mm -hmm. filing date. I think if she came to you and said things have been really tough with keep trying to keep my head above water and I've let this fall, would you? <laughs> Ex, you know, give me an extension, it would be different. That's but right. you're chasing her down, trying to offer an extension. You're you're mm -hmm. trying to be extra nice. That well, isn't, and that isn't no, our, I'm not. That isn't our business. But it's no, I agree. Isn't it under contract anyway? So the new people would have to. It, it is, but that's file. beside the point, basically. Right, true. I don't know that it was in January or, you know, mm -hmm. I don't know the circumstances yeah. of that. Yeah. Uh, I'm in agreement, but as I said, I wanted to bring it before the board. Mm -hmm. So the motion would be to not present a new app a new 3ABC, mm -hmm. to not extend the deadline. If something came in now, would we accept it or not? It's the 22nd of March, it was due on the 1st. When I'd did say, you mail the second one? Hmm? When did you mail the second one? <laughs> Emailed it February middle. Okay. Well, they haven't done it for three years, so I. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, in that case, this particular property goes back on taxable rolls for fiscal twenty four. Yep. All righty. Uh, that does not require a vote because that's the actual that's the exact process of. Oh, in we don't have in case we them. haven't received anything. Yes. Did we initial something though? So we all um or no. Well, we have it in the minutes. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. In the system acquisitions. All right. Um, as you know, I have sent off the inquiry to well, let's see, that's all Tyler. We have a couple of notices of uh damage damage to properties from the snowstorm. They really? come to the Board of Health who passes them on to us. Uh, we will have to check and see if they get repaired or not. <laughs> Might ask you to speak to this, the digital po digitization policy. Oh. Maybe. Yep. That's next up. Okay. <laughs> okay. You mean, is that about doing the... Yeah. The statewide thing. Yeah. So what was what there. was damaged? I don't know. Oh, we doesn't say up there. It's a barn. Look, we happen to know up there it's a barn. Only because I have a picture of it. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. These are the definitions of the age. <laughs> so what are we supposed to do with these? Oh, we yeah. just make a note of them and put them in the in the uh, in. folder. What initial barn? Sure. So. Tell me again, what's, what is this about? The, what got damaged? That, and those are insurance companies. They don't tell us precisely what was damaged. They can't. So why they does can't. it come to us? It's it's a handover from the Board of Health. They receive it for some reason. Oh. In case I suppose <laughs> the house was left unlivable. 
from the damage or something like that. I don't know. But uh, it's a courtesy to give us a copy in case it's something we need to double check. Oh, okay. Right. Like one of them, you know, the barn no longer exists. So right. there's so a structure that needs to be removed that. from the property. Okay. Yep. There you go. That's the letter of the ethics convention. Oh, okay. So you have an initial order. Okay, yes, thank you. Yeah. So I'll add the barn one onto our list of visits and just to have a look, we have a picture of it anyway. I'm quite sure I can request a copy of the picture. So um, we have our bill for annual work from SHA, SHI for fiscal 23. This is Tyler. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And it's, uh, we are now almost three quarters of the way through. And the bill is in the amount of 3905.20. Oh, is that the number? Uh, you just got that one? Yeah. Yeah, I had to ask him to change a couple of things on it because the dates didn't reflect the fiscal year mm -hmm. and so forth. Yeah. So, um, um, I guess I'd like to remove that we pay the bill and we can do it out at the next meeting or we can do it tonight. Because, so it is the right time frame and we can pay it. Is that? Uh, yes. Because we questioned. You questioned well, there. yeah, Mike in the past has been very firm with me about not paying for something until it's been received. And but software support, but that software that support way. goes an entire year. Yeah. yeah. Software support doesn't work. So we can't way. ask them to give us all of their. Right. Expertise so it, for a year. Does he understand it's software support and that it's he will. Lots I'm going to make it a very clear. An item. Yeah, it's not something we purchased. Any ideas on that, Barony? I, I I don't know. So so the bill is for the fiscal entire year. fiscal year. Yes. Worth of software support. So yes. You're paying in advance for the next three months. The next three months. Well, we're just also say? paying in a rear for eight and a half months. Oh, here. <laughs> Yeah, so if it's if it's part of a contract that you have with them, mm -hmm. then absolutely that should not be a problem. Right. Yeah. It, it, at least I mean, Mike can correct me if I'm wrong, but you are paying for this service. Right. Yeah. To me, you could pay for that on July 1st for right. Well, no, I mean last July 1st. Right. Correct. To prepay for it. Well, well, you're supposed to prepay for because I mean, it is software support yeah. you are going to be receiving. I did not see, but Mike may correct me. <laughs> I did not see that we had got a bill back. So, so I don't know of a company that will offer to three without to six right. twenty three. They're probably you seven two seven seven twenty two twenty two to six thirty twenty three. Yeah, that's fiscal twenty twenty three. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yep. So do we want to make a motion? Pay it. Pay it. Pay it. Okay. I second. Second. Any further discussion and questions? Mm -hmm. No. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Um, I can sign the table schedule tomorrow for this. We voted on it. So it's all okay. If you want to just initial it, we could. I could do the schedule out tomorrow and we could get it over to them then. You're looking. Yeah, because the next one is Monday. So. Yeah. I know. <laughs> yeah. You want to go with this or not? No. No, I'm trying to make my way through here. Through things here. Okay, that we went over last time. That was the contract from Cartographic. These are the definitions of effect. Oh, you might like a set of these. I yeah, I, I already have them. Yeah. These are several different definitions of effective age from different sources. Okay. We were trying to figure out three of them here. So see it, if anyone how makes, they were computed makes in, clearer sense to you than another. Then how here's your homework, Russ. And uh now let's see. We have right. We have one personal exemption 
that we voted to deny, or I'm sorry, <laughs> holding the gun. We have one that we questioned because the income was over the acceptable limit. Oh, we're back to those. Hey, you are bouncing. I know, I thought I had in the right pile. I, I'm gonna do this from now on. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna organize the pile of stuff? Yes. Oh, I love that. Yes, I checked with the family and the income was reported correctly. It is over the acceptable limit, okay. acceptable limit. So I move to deny this personal exemption. Do I have a second? Second. Any questions or no. discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. What's the initials on that? DC. No, actually, no, it's a personal exemption. It doesn't matter. Okay. Voting it denied today. We have further information from the Historical Society. Um, they had filed within uh, insufficient data, but they had supplied it to us. It doesn't change anything. Right, it doesn't change anything, but we now do have the entire information that we need mm -hmm. um, for that file. And so we can simply initial it. And then it's all received in good order. Okay. We received all of the required information. <laughs> and digital, digital Commonwealth Collection Development Policy. A mouthful. And <laughs> this is in partnership with the Boston Public Library, oh, the Digital Commonwealth is providing free digitization service to communities as part of its Library for the Commonwealth program. Now, this is dealing primarily with historical documents. Oh. We've had some digitized already, but there are certainly we only went up to about, I think we might have gone to 1810 or 1820, something like that. Be nice if we could do and maybe finish out that century. What documents are you saying? Assessing. Uh, oh, assessing. Yes, okay. roll books. Okay. Yeah. Because Lori and I had, so I did email this uh, gentleman back and to try to get more specificity about what <laughs> we are allowed to, right. to do, what they'll take on. Because let's face it, um, offering free digitalization to all the towns in Massachusetts would be daunting. So, yes. So Lori and I had a conversation. <laughs> My suggestion, which I believe she agreed with, was we could start with the town meeting records mm -hmm. as being the first thing that we ask the Boston Public Library this program to do for the town. So those would be the earliest uh, books in the town. You know office. how the old official town record books, it was yes. one book for everything. Yes. Yeah. So, so yeah. Yeah. yeah, so it wasn't, it's not even, it's not even that it's town meeting records. Right, right. It's, it's all it's town the official records, town the record book that has. Except the assessor's records. <laughs> yeah, back yeah. It, back in those days, it was your vitals. It was your it was every, everything. Your every days, your, the, yeah. the whole. And uh, earmarks. The, and they're doing for it for hogs and cattle. Yes. Yes. Um, yes. Right, which is amazing yes. and thrilling. And, <clears throat> you know, I mean. I'd love feedback, but that was my thought was to at least start with those mm -hmm. original books and go through once it becomes just town meeting. Mm -hmm. I don't know what year that starts at, but once it becomes just town meeting records, I minutes. Mean, yeah, I don't know. To do that as well. So at least we have a complete set of records for town meeting. Yes. Then we could go back and see what else, you know, mm -hmm. Lori will know what else is in the book and that what we need to do from right. there. You know, but at least it's a free starting point, which I would love to apply for. Yep. Yep. Oh, 
Oh, we have to apply would, for that. So. Would you? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Is it like a grant? Is it? I think it's kind of a competitive, you know, you put in what you want us to do and we'll let you know kind of oh, we get, if we're able to accommodate you. Would um, you forward me the last email you received from them so I can follow up with that information with me. them? Because um, I, I know we talked yeah. about me reaching out to them, but I hadn't seen that last one that they sent that kind of had a little more info on what they wanted from us. Okay, well, I can go back. We don't do it right now. Mm -hmm. I think the only other thing that well, I have. Well, then text me in the morning. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> okay. Yeah. No, yeah. do it right now. <laughs> but uh, then I have for tonight, that I have for tonight is um, that we're continuing to consider changing to a new valuation program based on the continuing challenges of the Tyler program. And I've talked to three towns, that uh, two of whom switched over last summer to the new Patriot. It used to be called Patriot. It's now called AP5. It was Patriot was purchased out or purchased up by one company, and they've since been purchased up by another national company named Catalis. And they specialize in government, our municipal government solutions. Um, one town is in the process of it being converted right now, and they hope to do their winter bills there on quarterly, so they're hoping to do their January bills on it. And so getting information and feedback from the towns. And today we had um, a Zoom meeting, the three of us, plus two representatives from AP5, I have to remember to call it that, uh, going over their, their demonstration again and answering a lot of the specific questions, which have been particularly bothersome to us, and some more general questions. And we told them that we'd probably be getting back to them with more questions. But they were very forthright, I thought, about answering. And I don't know where he got his numbers from for the amount of towns. So where, I know. Where, where did he come up with that? Just four towns or so? I, I, I took it as, like, just recent. Maybe. Not overall that switched from I think Tyler. I may send out an email to the Tyler, what started out as the Tyler group of towns, and say, how many of you are still with Tyler? Yeah, because it sounded to me like... The recent ones, maybe this year or something, that are switching. Okay. Yeah, that's I, that's what I took it as. Some of the Tyler towns also may have gone to Vision or something else, and so. Is there something else? Mm -hmm. uh, there are a couple of other ones. Um, I think the city of Boston has their own independent system, but they're big enough they can afford the hmm. technology to do it and to support it. Well, yeah. they have big time in house IT people. Too. Right. Right. So, uh, so how are we going to move forward on this? On that? On what we're, yeah. On um, the, the Tyler question, as we call it. Yes. Now, the, 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 the thing is now, you're going to have to request funds from the town for this. And the deadline. Are the funds designated now? Yeah. I would say. <laughs> I'm sorry, what was the, what was the problem? If we were to decide now to convert to a different valuation system, are there still any funds available? No, I was, I was asking what the cost is. Oh, oh, the cost um, is, I think, between 7500 and 10000 Okay. I, what I would say is, if you wish to ask, do it at tonight's meeting and at least make the ask. Um, tomorrow's the agenda. We could put it on. Okay, he's emailing me tomorrow with figures for the conversion. Okay, so we could adjust them, but give me a ballpark. All right. Send Let's... me an email so that I can put on the agenda tomorrow for Monday an ARPA fund request. So do you have the... And what I will tell you that, that out of ARPA mm -hmm. so far, the treasurer and the town clerk have all gotten, have both gotten software. Mm -hmm. And we were expecting to get something from the assessors yes. a while back. Well, we wanted to continue to study it. And so, and, and no, I appreciate another... that. But so I would say, send it to me and, and All right. we can advocate for, okay, $10,000. Let's get us switched over. I'll send that tonight. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Yep. Thank you. Because you have the original bill or the. I have the original but, proposal from proposal. October. 
Right. So right. I, I was going to say, what I was point. saying is otherwise there might be a huge delay because the warrant is getting ready to close and to get a motion on the warrant for the town meeting to ask for money yes. on the general funds. Yeah, that's April might, 3rd. Yeah, April 3rd. might end up being pushed back till wow. a special meeting or next April year's months. meeting. So. Okay. <laughs> so you know what? I would work on both at once. It's only 10 days. Yeah. Because okay. you could also ask for free cash mm -hmm. for the software. Yes. So if it didn't work for ARPA, you could say, could you please, you know, yeah, for an article to accept this amount for from free cash? But right. I need to have that by April 3rd. Okay. Because that's a deadline for submission. Oh, yes. To select board. All right. Okay. We'll do. Are we convinced? No, I'm not totally completely. Oh. So we, we should ask for it. <laughs> we should ask for it anyway. Well, we can always unask. We can always stand up and say, thank you. Please pass this pass this one bucket. If we don't ask for it. <clears throat> well, that's true. If you don't ask for it, you're, you're not going to have it in reserves. Mm -hmm. But I guess I'm curious because I know you've been discussing this for a long mm -hmm. time. What, what the concerns are? Because I, I think it is what goes into the conversion the conversion um, what do they provide with you many, for many, training many, and manuals? many hours of work over normal work hours i figured 300 hours for the last confusion con conversion right and so you want to be absolutely sure that when you convert you're not going to want to convert again in, in like another 10 or 20 years right, right, right. this was yeah. within five years and it's yeah yeah but if I have understood correctly the discussions you've had, the last conversion has not been satisfactory at all. The program, no, the program has not been satisfactory. So, it's been frustrating on many levels. Right. It lacks a lot. So to, to me, that we are not the I, only. Time. I would. This is me personally, but I would say, okay, we know conversion is going to be a nightmare. However, going forward, once it's done, will your lives be easier? Yes. If you know yeah, it will be easier, question. I would say, go for it. You know, because otherwise you're still limping along every year and every year is a nightmare on software that doesn't work well for you. Mm -hmm. So, and, and, and what you and Jan go through yeah. every June with the first round of tax bills. Oh, yeah, in September, that, that, yeah. That's, yeah. Ri that's ridiculous. That, that yes, should it not is. be. But, you know, if I understand correctly, too, it might be kind of like a double a double conversion in the sense that you, you're going to need to correct what's wrong on the software now yes. before you go to the new software, which yes. I understand is going to be a We would problem. have to be just checking every detail from every angle. Right, which I don't, you know, so. <laughs> and I think, I think that's where the hesitation is coming from, yeah. is, is, that's a, is what's going to go into this time-wise and work-wise and. There's no way in a million years we would do it in time for this call, clear heavens no, it's not possible. But to do no, it it's not. and to get it on as soon as possible so that it could, we could be ready a year from now for the fall bills. Now is probably the time to decide to move forward. I know Jan felt that well, that's why we training. Had, that's why we had wanted to start this in January, so it would be ready for the fall. Right, but so if you all were to, so let's say it's it's you get the software, but it's not an active for another year. Is that right. what I'm okay? So this season, you correct all the mistakes that yes. you find on the current software. Right. Then you convert, and then well, you, yeah, it, right. it's not mis It's some mistakes. Most of them have been found. What we're finding right now is or a inaccuracies or uh, whatever a, a different methodology. Yeah, yeah, of determining uh, depreciation and so forth. And we can work that up so right. that we have it solid before a you know by going developing a chart and using it mm. and uh, going back to the system before that actually. <laughs> Which was a dandy, as it turned out. Right. Um, right. But but as and I I'm learning it, from each of the towns that, that we're talking with. As I understand it, correct me if I'm wrong, but you're going to want to get these ducks in a row with the oh, absolutely before you convert because it's just going to be a double nightmare if you don't. That's right. It's okay. going to be double ducks. And also, if there is a conversion, and I mean, assuming there was <laughs> at this point, part of that process is a 10 day open house in which we open here and we notify everyone. We put, advertise it publicly. 
that this is the time to come in and look at your property record mm -hmm. on the Nanook system. Every day is an open house. Really. I know it is here anyway, but but uh, but it is specifically for that purpose in a conversion. Well, wait a minute. Let me ask you this. Yeah. So when, when that 10-day open house, yeah. do they have the new property cards to question? Or yes. It is. Okay, yes. so they already have the new property yes. cards. Yes. Well, when? The new and the old. Yeah. That's what I'm asking. We have the we would have the new ones then, yes. Because that would, is what they'd be coming in to see. So when is that going to be? That's not uh, well, that would have to be sometime next spring, probably. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So so they will have the both so they can compare yes. and say, geez, this is mistake, carry it over, right. and they could you they yes. question that. Right. right. Course, any yeah. thoughts of retirement, you just threw out the window. We can hold <laughs> Yeah, I know. So I don't, you know to, I don't want to retire unless things are in good order. But here. you know, I would say that's an amazing learning opportunity right there. The conversion and that this would be the Checking ideal your card with your new card. time to advertise mm -hmm. for replacement. your replacement. Yeah. Because yeah. this would be the perfect learning yes. and training experience. Yes. Yeah. Good so thought. So this is it, this, yes, this is the perfect time Somebody because. If they're doing involved. the conversion and learning it along with you, then you know when it's over, you can retire and this person right. knows the system. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I don't want to. And don't look at me because I'm saying. Go out to my garden and, and, and suddenly, <laughs> or go off play with the garden kids and suddenly have everything fall apart here. I don't want, I wouldn't do that. But also, there are many more people, well, I should say, who knew the old trade fair program. I don't know how many people knew this new one. You know, as far as working from one town or another or something like that, hiring in an employee later. But that's a very good point, very valid point. It's the perfect. Okay, it, so you, I owe you two emails. You'd be kill, you'd be killing <laughs> taking you know the, yes. the two birds with one stone thing. That's right. There. right. So, but right. then we would have to have money to pay a new person too. But we could we would just we'll have work to find on that. It. Yeah, we will work on that. Yeah, that is your capital funds request right there. Yes. Okay, let's. Well, that's how we adjourn. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. Have, have you either of you any other business to come before the board tonight? No. If if I may, I just will say if you want to add in something because we took it out for training, right? This is yes, we did. We have time to add it back in. So if you know that the but. That's it right. We took it out of our budget. Yes, we took it out of your budget. So I just wanted to put that up there because we have not finalized things yet. And if you know that you're going to want to train somebody next year, which sounds like it, yeah, it's yeah. a good possibility. I yes. would, I would highly recommend we put that back in. I'd have to be bigger than it was, but yeah. <laughs> well, sorry. Would you be able to get somebody in for um, part time to train? Oh yes, yes, yes. So you had to be part time. That's the other thing. The rest of the overlap. Job. Correct. This is yes. to pay somebody to overlap. Well, we would both to train. Yes, right. We would right. both be here. Right. right. Um. Right. And I think that's a very, that would be a very wise thing for us to put in this budget, frankly. Yeah, especially if, if I mean, the conversion is the perfect time. Yeah. It is actually. But I would rather see, rather than than the money to train somebody being a capital request, I'd rather see oh, absolutely in the budget. Absolutely. Yes. I agree. Oh, yeah, then that's where it should be. Okay. Well, if we have no other business before the board, any public comments? Because we do have any public. public. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't neglect. Wait. Have we public comments? Please welcome. I guess not. Who's on there? Okay, thank you for coming. Is there anybody on there? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Move to adjourn, seven p.m. Second. Aye. Aye. All in favor. Aye. Aye. Okay. Very good. <laughs>